2019 versus 2023 me, the changes that were made. So 2019, I just got off a knee fracture and it required me to basically be completely off of my feet for at least, I think, two to three weeks. I remember for a week I couldn't sleep, so there's no way I was able to do anything. And as such, I started to lose muscle drastically. I lost a ton of weight and I just wasn't sleeping right, eating right, the whole shebang. And back in 2019 versus 2023, there were three things that I was doing that I know contributed to me not being as lean and athletic as I am today. So number one is that I was never fat and never super ripped. Number two, I yo-yoed like everybody else. I would be lean in the summer and then I would gain fat in the winter. And then 2020 me got super focused. So here's the big changes that I made since 2019 was number one, I did more Fit Club workouts. Now back then and even now, I played a lot of sports. Right? I would play almost every single day. I would push my body to the max. And as such, I would never really work out on game days. And when you played on that many teams, even if it was just rec, I would never have a day off from playing sports. So I would actually only work out maybe two, three times a week max at Fit Club. And the other workouts were just complimentary workouts. So if I knew I was having a game that day, I would go in and I would just do an upper body workout. But now, I actually don't do any extra workouts. I don't work out on my own time. I actually go into the classes and I just go through body movements. And this is something that I'd recommend to anybody that is involved in any types of sports. For most of you that are watching, you're probably doing some type of running in the summer, getting trained for marathons, et cetera, et cetera. And I would tell you that you don't necessarily need to take time off from the gym when you do your long runs. The harder you focus on your sport, the lighter you go inside Fit Club. And so for instance, if you normally chest press, let's say 40 pounds, okay? Then I would tell you to go down and chest press like 15s or 20s. If you normally squatted, let's say 80 pounds on the kettlebell, then I would tell you that you can go down to body weight or even just squat 20 pounders. Now people might look at you and like wonder, why, why aren't you going hard? Why aren't you lifting heavy? Even the coach would be like, come on, I know you can do more. But honestly, the more of us that come and do training in season and we move our bodies to promote active recovery but to also keep our muscle definition, then the more the rest of the people will understand and the coaches will right away immediately understand because the coaches do hard training as well. They understand that when you're in high, hard training, like some of our coaches do running, some of our coaches do strong, it just wears down the body and there's just days, maybe even weeks or depending on your sport, months where you're just not gonna push yourself to the extreme that's gonna create more problems. But you're gonna go in to create active recovery and that you're, you're gonna go in to maintain the muscle that you gain. So the number one thing that I did since 2019 and 23 was do more Fit Club workouts. Number two, I contribute a lot of my decrease in body fat focused from the virtuals. Now back then in 2019, it was all about the weights and playing sports. But now I actually incorporate more of the virtual style workouts into our workout plans that we develop at Fit Club. I never used to really do jumping jacks. I would do alley shuffle on the ladder, but I only do it for like five to eight seconds because that's what a sport requirement is. But now we incorporate a lot of these body weight movements, these fast movements where we're just moving our body extreme, pushing it, getting our heart rates up. And honestly, I believe that contributed a lot to decreasing my body fat. So back then I would think, well, my sports would be my cardio and I would just lift heavy weights for my muscles. But now I'm doing more Fit Club workouts where I'm training with weights, but I'm also incorporating a lot more of the body weight style or the HIIT style training into my daily routine. And ever since I've been doing that, I'm still able to pick up new sports, play you know, at a top level with tennis, do whatever it is that's required of me that I thought would only come from training for sport, but now we just train it for life. And the last big improvement that I've worked on since 2019 to 2023 was the belly burns. Now, I still eat whatever it is that I want, but everything is tracked and my macros are on point along with my calories, which are based on my goals. So what does that mean? If I'm looking to shred down, let's say I wanna go on a trip, and a lot of times I'll go to a trip and I'll get extremely ripped, 
so that I'll put myself in a caloric deficit so then I can go and eat a little bit more on this trip. But if I wanna look really good for this trip, then my, calori my calories are gonna be based on that goal. If I'm looking to maintain my weight and focus on sport, playing sport like I do in the summer, then I want my calories to be at my base so that I'm not losing weight, but I'm also not gaining on any unnecessary weight. And so the belly burns are things that have kept me on track with tracking my food, making sure that I'm hitting my macros and that my calories are on point. Because it's kind of like having that accountability with the rest of the group. While everybody else is staying focused and I'm into that circle, there's no reason why I wouldn't stay focused because you wanna keep the conversations all the same. And so my recommendation for you, if you're really looking to take your physique or sport or life to the next level is number one, is continue to do your fit club workouts no matter what. Even if you have an injury, even if you have sore muscles, you just need to know how to scale it up and need to scale it down. You can work with us coaches and we'll be able to help you with that, but my recommendation is to do a workout regardless. Number two is challenge yourself to try change. And a good change and challenge is to try the virtuals, right? Accept the exercises that you may not like at the gym, such as burpees or high knees or jumping jacks, and really go all in with them because those things are gonna push your body in a different way that you're not used to, and it's gonna help to bring that body fat down. And then number three, and if you do struggle with nutrition, which 95% of us do, then my recommendation is to see the belly burn as an investment just like your gym membership is so that at least for six to seven months of the year, you have a coach watching over your shoulder, you have a community that are focused on their nutrition and you're able to stay focused even if it's only for that 30 days, but 30 days, seven months of the year is better than 30 days, never months of the year. I mean, working out is obviously better than not working out, but working out with great nutrition, that's where the lifelong results happen.